to start with. He was always passionate and still passionate about uh, crypto and blockchain and has come to us immediately when we asked about his, about the session. We are forever grateful, sir. And now we request you to please enlighten the students. You can start, sir. Yeah. Hi. Hi, everyone. First of all, uh, thanks to everyone. And uh, my special thanks to this organization, uh, Pranav. I think it's Pranav, I guess. So it's Pranav. Pranav and Anvita. Yeah. Thanks for having, uh, having me here. So, hi, everyone. So let me share my screen. So I connected from VPN. It might be a little uh, delay or anything, just to bear with it. Thank you. Let me show it to you once. One second, let me share. By the way, first time I'm using uh, Geo. I never used it before. So I hope that's fine. Because for sharing my screen, I need to allow something over here. Okay. I think I have to quit a lot. I don't know. This is... Yeah, now I can see that. I'm, uh, can you see my screen? Is it visible to everyone? Yeah. I mean, can you type or uh, how does it work? Like, I don't know, like, whether you guys are seeing my screen or not. Yes, sir, we, the screen is visible. <laughs> okay, at least one one person uh, should be unmute, yeah. Okay, so I make this completely as interesting as possible for you guys. And uh, that too, I try to put it in a very normal way, very normal and very basic level. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Sir, you're muted. Um... Okay. Is it audible now? Yes, sir. So, yeah, so I interrupt about myself. Like, uh, so I'm CTO and co founder for. Uh, a co founder for Birthtech Innovations, that is a healthcare company which is into the blockchain. So, like storing patient data, these things in the patient data and whatever the wearable uh, wearables uh, we are having in our uh, watch watches or uh, anything anything in the device device specific. So, we are storing the data in the blockchain in a secure way. So, that is the basic project synopsis. And I'm also working as a project manager for Ekta, which is we are going to develop our own uh, blockchain technology. And apart from this, uh, I have 13 years of uh, complete uh, technical experience in payment gateways and uh, encryption, decryption, all these sort of things. So that's my portfolio in a simple way. And uh, I speak English, Telugu and Hindi. That's the one thing. And I'm also founder of Vision Krish. So Actually, they are my sons, actually. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, let's come into this uh, today's point of view. So, in the next 90 minutes, uh, I'm going to give you some clarity. I mean, what you guys will achieve from this meeting, in a very simple way of speaking. You learn some basic stuff like how the blockchain works, how that uh, crypto works, what is that common uh, doubts on crypto, how does uh, it makes lots of difference in the world. Uh, it's a very simple basics you learn it. Like how does it work? The first thing. 
and uh, the, at the last uh, i will show you that uh, ccc it is uh, creating your own cryptocurrency like how you can create your own cryptocurrency like in a simple way so that's the thing and uh, so for the next uh, 90 minutes uh, these are my these are our requirements like uh, anyhow you guys are muted already so if you guys get any call or anything in between uh, happily you can mute and do it it's completely okay with me i don't have any problem with that and uh, you need to have a chrome browser if you want to create your own cryptocurrency and uh, you don't need to have any programming knowledge 100 percent all you need to know that how to use control cmv that's it done and uh, you should have a pen and paper pen and uh, pen and paper with you guys because when we are creating web3 wallets uh, you need to write your secret codes and all on your paper it's uh that's uh, that's, that's you must need it actually and in case uh, if you guys have any doubts in between kindly ask me so i don't have any problem i mean uh, there's an entire uh, discussion in the workshop uh, it's not the seminar kind of thing so you guys can ask me anything in between i'm happy to answer you guys so don't hesitate to answer and don't, don't hesitate to question actually so that's the thing so let's come back to this uh, blockchain so the first and fundamental question is that uh, what is blockchain so before going to the blo blockchain uh, it will be a three basic fundamentals in the blockchain which is uh, digitally distributed decentralized and the public ledger uh, in in a simple way if you in a simple way to explain for a first standard for a first standard student how we are explaining to the blockchain to them in a very simple way let us say that uh, your teacher is going to give the homework to everyone. So the teacher uh, will instruct that what is the question number one, question number two, question number three, like that. Everyone in the students will write the same pattern. Like question one, uh, question number one is uh, X budget, question number two is ABC, question number three is uh, something like one, two, three. So when uh, when she created a, when she, uh, whatever the teacher is telling that, the students will be writing the same pattern. Let us say 10 students written the same thing. So one of the students don't want to work on the second question number. So he want to delete that one. And uh, when he presented to the teacher, obviously the remaining nine people will have the one, two, three pattern. Obviously the, the student who deleted the second page, obviously updated by that, uh, the remaining people who were uh, already had it. So that means if you want to corrupt or if you want to delete some data, in this uh, particular the main 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 core system so you need to remove it from uh, you need to remove it to 10 people at a, at a time that is literally in the blockchain it stores almost uh, 100,000 200,000 computer nodes at the same time nodes means here it's a computer systems so you cannot hack 100,000 systems at a single time it is technically impossible so that's how the blockchain is linked between the the, the data the data and all that's how it is secure so that's how it works with the blockchain so and coming back to this uh, particular point so in this uh, i hope you got it what is the blockchain how does it uh, basically so and coming back to this uh, very simple example why it is secure it's like uh, for what makes it secure again the answer is same it is decentralized and distributed and it's public like uh, it's completely whatever the data we are storing, we are storing it. It's not a centralized server. Like if I want to hack your, uh, let us say, Prime accounts or Amazon account, it is like everything every every of our data is stored in the Amazon cloud servers only. But let's imagine that uh, that same data is distributed into 150,000 systems like that. We cannot hack it at once because it is not possible. So this is how how that uh, blockchain is secure. So I'm pausing here. Uh, if anyone have any doubts on that, uh, kindly ask me here. So because the next I will tell that how the hash algorithm works. Yeah, anyone have any doubts over here? Hello? Is that good? Yes, sir. Is it, it is audible? I guess uh, no doubts maybe. Oh yeah, Heman, ah, okay. raise your hand. Yeah. 
anyone raise their hand uh, they can ask i will start continue with that how the hash of weather works so technically what is a i think uh, something someone hammer someone is sent something uh pranav can you like allow heman to speak once Yeah. Yeah, Hemant, you. Yeah. Is it audible? Yeah. Okay, sir. I think you can continue. Okay. So I just explained to the hash algorithm. It's a basic hash. How it works? I'll, I'm going to explain to you here, guys. So can you see my screen? Yeah, you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, that's good. So let us say, uh, let us say, a is equal to b into c. That is the one algorithm. Let us say. So six equal to two into three. So we all know that uh, the value of uh, a is depends on the b and c, right? So two and three, as simple as that. so let us assume uh, you know only uh, you you know only b for example you know only b so b equal to 2 you know and uh, a equal to 6 you know obviously obviously you can estimate uh, you can estimate uh, you know the b and you know the a so you know the a is 6 you know that and b you know that obviously c we can estimate it right easily like c is 3 because you know that uh, b is 2 and a is 6 6 divided by 2 which is uh, c as simple as that so that's how we can estimate it so in general phenomena what will happen now uh, i don't have much space here okay so you know a and b and c here or else if you know two variables you can estimate the third one it's very easily that's very good actually so it's very secure let us say okay if you don't know that b you don't know b in the first scenario first thing actually first in first case number 1 you know Better I can type. The first case is that a into b into c, which is six equal to two into three. So if I know b and c, I can estimate a easily. I can guess. So that's a little bit secure. It's not that too much secure. Let us assume that uh, you know only b and c. You know uh, you know only one parameter, which is a only. You know that. So the probability for b into c either it's two into three or three into two. There is a two possibility over there. It is little bit more secure. So let us assume that uh, two random variables coming from uh, b and c. So you don't know b and you don't know c. So estimating a is very difficult. So like how that uh, hash algorithm generally works. in generally whatever uh, you guys are seeing that uh, i hope uh, most of them are from the csc and uh, you guys have the basic uh, computer computer knowledge and encryption basic knowledge which is like uh, 
when you encrypting any any uh, if you see the password sometimes passing that uh, once you submit the any submit button on the url if you see that uh, some code like that encrypted code some expected code so technically what will do that uh, whatever you are going to write a in the if you encrypt it it will become like uh, some something like this code if you type b So they'll follow certain patterns of this 984, 983 like that. Uh, they will encrypt it uh, in the programmatically. They will pass on the URLs. That's how generally it works. So these numbers uh, we use randomly actually generally. So if you type the random of A, automatically it will give you one value randomly. And this value can decoded only with the decrypted key by people. Uh, People who write this algorithm, like key and lock kind of a system is that system in general. So when you know one variable to guess the another variable, it is less secure. In, uh, in blockchain, what will happen in uh, when you're creating a public key and a private key? So it's completely like uh, they will take, they will multiply with the two random variables. One is less secured. So that's why they'll do with the two variables, which is impossible to hack. So that's the basic actually. So in this particular scenario, I'm just touching the basics only. So that's how the hash algorithm works because it's going to touch with the two random different the two random values differently. You don't know that A and you don't know the B. So obviously you don't know the C. So completely you don't know three of the variables. So they will create uh, three different, uh, two different uh, random variables to create a hash key. So that's why it's very secure. It is not possible to Think about it, at least. Yeah. So, so like uh, this is the basic part, basic how this uh, encryption and uh, encryption. This is like how the blockchain works in a simple scenario, like uh, how that uh, it's going to store the data in a simplest way. And uh, it is uh, in a simple way to example on this. Uh, I'll put a simple example for this. Let's say uh, you are you are putting, you, you are having here actually. So everyone using the dish TV generally. Dish TV for channels or channels to watch it. Dish TV and the TV. Dish is uh, this and your TV and your remote. And uh, before that, uh, coming to your dish signals, uh, one channel whoever the channel is broadcasting, they will they will release the signals, and that will come to your dish. After that, that, the TV will be in your room and you will operate from the remote. So this is very basic. So like channel from channel, they will give you the satellite, you could say whatever, it's a satellite or XYZ. So this is a signal, so it will broadcast the signals generally. And this will receive it. And TV can uh, show that. And uh, remote can, you can operate. So in this example, if you put me on the blockchain, first of all, blockchain, uh, blockchain between, uh, okay, from A to B, some people did a transaction. See, you, uh, you guys just listen to that, what I'm talking on that. Uh, once we move to the Web3 wallet and uh, you do some transaction, uh, in a basic transaction, creating a token, and all, then you will understand clearly, like uh, you can connect the dot, uh, not forward. It's a backward dot, backward dot connection. Whatever I'm talking it now, once you go to this uh, Web3 wallet creation and create your own cryptocurrency, after that you will understand what I'm talking here actually. So from A to B transaction, account A to account B, there is some transaction is there. Let us say there is some uh, 0 0.01 uh, Bitcoin sent from A to B. In such case, immediately this transaction will be broadcasted, uh, the transaction will be broadcasted. It's say here broadcasted, we say it is uh, ready for mining or uh, just uh, giving the signals, for example. So let's say it's immediately this uh, this data openly available for everyone. Data openly, you can uh, signal it. So here receiver is nothing but a dish, is nothing but a nodes actually. Nodes means uh, the people who are in the network who are ready to take the data into their computers. All of you guys, uh, I think most of you guys use a torrents actually. Torrents is the best example for uh, 
best example for how this decentralized network works. No one has the complete movie or complete data with them. So when you switch on your system, that will be connected to you and someone will switch on the system, that will connect to them. And uh, overall, uh, that's how it works actually. Like you can download the data from different, different nodes. And by the way, whatever you guys are doing in the torrents, it's not in the cloud. It takes from your desktop. Your hardware file, it's not uploading to the cloud. Directly, it will go to, uh, yeah, something is there. I'm audible, let me know that uh, if something is distributed to you guys. Hello? Yes, sir, I'll let you know. Ah, okay, let me know because I come from, uh, uh, it's a VPN, so I don't know like when it's a, it is disconnected, kindly let me know immediately. Yeah, so that's how, uh, that's how that uh, once you see that uh, data openly available for nodes, the nodes will receive just like your dish and uh, it will be mined into your TV kind of a thing. Like there will be a block, blocks will be there and there will be one software, like a torrent software, you have a one Bitcoin software in your computer. So whatever happening in the Bitcoin transactions, all will come to your system. Automatically all will come to you. So this is like, uh, this is a very basic introduction of that, how that mining and the nodes. So this is a fundamental action. So more you go and more you will understand. So right now, actually I'm stopping you out here, here. And uh, coming back to here. So the ne next fundamental thing is uh, so many people uh, confused about uh, blockchain and crypto. So many people thought that uh, if you say blockchain, uh, they will simply put a some Bitcoin symbol. Uh, it's a usually people will put a Bitcoin symbol on that blockchain. If you say that uh, they don't know anything else about the blockchain, I mean they don't put anything else. Blockchain means Bitcoin. They thought. But uh, in a simple word, uh, if you say that, what is the difference between the blockchain and the crypto? It's very simple. Blockchain is something like an economy, like uh, Indian economy, UK economy, and uh, US economy, like that we are creating a, some kind of a system for them. The way we are storing the data and all this is a technology. And crypto is, uh, is for just like a currency. Like if you go to India, if you are in India, you use the INR. If you go to UAE, you use AED. But the purpose of the, purpose of the economy is same. It is uh, in a simple way that uh, whatever the money, uh, whatever the note you guys are having in your hands right now, whatever the currency you guys are having, if you go back 15 years in uh, 15 years in India, so we all you we all going to use the note generally. Like the note will have a governor signature. All I mean, let's say has a Reserve Bank governor signature. If you see that, so that is the note actually. It is validated by Reserve Bank of uh, sorry, governor of Reserve Bank. That is validated, this is validated by Reserve Bank government. And uh, the banks and everything is connected like that. So right now, if you see it, uh, most of the people are not using uh, notes anywhere. Now it's everything is like wallets kind of system, like uh, you're transferring money from uh, one, one account to another account, mobile banking and all. This is like uh, no one is signing on the notes and there is no physical cash is transferring from anywhere right now in the world. Like uh, mostly it is uh, doing the online transfers and all. So end of the day, whatever the money you guys are transferring to your banks, uh, whatever they are doing it, uh, that will be validated by the Reserve Bank governor. Anyhow, that will be validated by the Reserve Bank. End of the day, they will take it uh, multiple. Uh, they will they will do it by the end of the day. So that's how the ledger works generally in your like on our economy. So like that, blockchain is a kind of a economy. Like uh, you purchasing a let's say you want to purchase one apple from the, some merchant. In road uh, streetwear. So you go there and uh, you give the, some hundred rupees notes note to him. He will give that uh, five apples to you. Right now, let us say he give you two apples to you. Same hundred rupees. If you go back uh, fifteen years back, uh, he will give you uh, ten apples or five apples because the price is very less by that time. Now it's increased inflation and all. So here uh, the fundamental over here, your note is same. 
but the quantity of the apples are changing. Apples are rice, sir. Everything is going to change. It, everything is going to inflate. So here, the fundamental here, whatever uh, we are doing the transaction, that is uh, recognized and that is uh, recognized by government and uh, Reserve Bank and uh, validated by certain uh, system actually. System will validate. In blockchain, there is no such system actually. It is uh, in between uh, nodes will be validated and uh, the people whoever in uh, in the blockchain they will do the validation there is no no authority persons like a uh, groups or organizations like reserve bank there's no such a banks or anything will be there in that in that scenario so the crypto is using for just like a currency between uh, validating the transaction i bought a apple with this 10 rupees so technically 10 rupees, uh, this 100 rupees, uh, if I give it to you, this Apple's ownership will come to me. So this is a validation uh, in, a, in a real world. We give the note which has a reserve bank owner signature. But in crypto, it should be in, uh, it will be in, uh, transaction will be stored in the blockchain. So that's how the ownership will be verified. So that's how the blockchain and crypto, there is a clear difference. And uh, so many people confuse about this coin and token. Like, uh, the coin wise, like let us say, uh, the coin means uh, it is something like coin. Should, coin in a simple word saying that uh, if it is a coin, is that coin should have their own blockchain technology, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some people have that. So these guys are having their own blockchain system to store their transactions, like. Uh, Binance has it, uh, Ethereum has it, and Bitcoin has it, like that. And coming to the token, they will use this blockchain technology, they will use someone else blockchain technology, and they will uh, register their token over there, just like an application. Like, uh, for example, uh, if you see B, uh, BNB coin or BNB token, these tokens are validating on Ethereum. Basically, this is all uh, something like parent and chain. The parent is something like a coin. The token is something like a child. And uh, this is like uh, we are derivating, uh, derivating, the, uh, derivating the new token, derivating the new program, you could say, you could say smart contract from the main blockchain. So that is the core difference between the coin versus token. And, and coming to this uh, algorithm, which is a consensus, so consensus, uh, it is like uh, consensus is the right word. In that, uh, okay, how we are going to tell them that uh, this particular A and B did a right job, did a transaction clearly, it's not a fraudulent transaction or uh, uh, how this data is storing, like who will take the decisions? That is the main criteria for, uh, criteria for all this. Just a second, one second. So, actually, if you see that, uh, every one of you will have a Aadhaar card with them, Aadhaar card and uh, passport. So these are our identities. Like, uh, okay, what is my name and what is my uh, what is my name and date of birth? All these details will be on my passport. So who verified it? Of course, it's the government of India verified it. So technically, it speaks actually. Who is the government of India in this particular scenario? Government of India is nothing but uh, nothing but all of us will be elected one government. So that uh, this uh, this is the main government uh, will run the authorities like uh, Aadhaar card verification and passport verification, immigration. All these departments run by the main government. So end of the day, I am the part of the government through my oath. So same way, and uh, the government is entire. Uh, if you see your Aadhaar card. In that other card or uh, your identity card, you're part of the entire system. And the meantime, in the meantime, uh, you are giving your identity by yourself and through one organization, in a simple way saying that. So 
the government of india is uh, is not that uh, different people the government of india end of the day you and myself and everyone everyone here is a part of government of india so we are authorized for it we are authorized certain people uh, we authorized uh, some people for organizing the government and they are doing it so like that actually the system will be defined that okay who is going to be uh, who how we are going to be uh, create this system like uh, we elect one person and he will do this uh, this process will be there the similarly in cryptocurrency and blockchain so this mechanism we call as a consensus like how that uh, how do you know that uh, this particular uh, nodes are validated and this particular uh, transactions are validated we we'll create that so most of the most 90% people will learn about the proof of work and proof of stake so these are the two things uh, always uh, keep on roaming this uh, two words in the industry like all the time people will talk about these two things only uh, what is a proof of work means it's simple that uh, it's simple that okay you uh, you have uh, we all are running in a race and whoever uh, uh, we all are running in a race who comes first he will decide that what is the next block next block means uh, this step. this 10 transactions or 20 transactions will be in the block will be stored like a to b b to c all the transactions stored in the first block and to, at last actually whoever show that uh, they can solve this problem and they will decide that what is the next block so just like they won the they won the particular elections or whatever you say so they will go that uh, proof of work uh, who will win the race he will decide that what is going to be the next block so this this consumes a lot of uh, electricity and all because it's uh, something like a simple uh, guessing algorithm you could say proof of work is mostly about the guessing algorithm like there is a very uh, encrypted keys will be, encrypted messages will be there that will be your system will try to hack try to guess that uh, what is the pattern of the like x y z is coming what is this what is the what might be the answer maybe a sanju or x or y z like that it will start guessing all that it is a guessing it will start continuously guessing on that so that's how the proof of work works so i think that is enough for the proof of work in the next class i'll tell you the more about this and uh, coming back to this uh, very fundamental question okay so blockchain and bitcoin and all this all is almost a it is technically 1.5 trillion dollars of industry which is uh, uh technically it is now uh, it is more than a 100000 uh, lakh crores i'm uh, sorry 100000 crores actually as of now the market value of uh, bitcoin and uh, all the cryptocurrencies so such a huge market initiated by a person called uh, satoshi nakamoto so why this person is hidden no one knows that who is uh, satoshi that's the question actually so no one knows him he or she or they we don't know anyone uh, anyone don't know that actually like uh, who is the founder of this uh, blockchain and the bitcoin so the fundamental question is that uh, if i meet anyone and uh, i will tell them that uh, this is a blockchain and all they ask me that uh, but it on uh, very simple question is that uh, okay you said uh, it is a great technology and great thing why this guy is hidden and why can't he show his face so it's a very common thing actually we know we know who is the founder of apple and microsoft uh, amazon and all we know them all of them we know it. but why don't we don't know the founder of bitcoin so there are different theories for it but what i, I believe uh, i will share with you is so like uh, it is something like uh, if you don't know uh, my name my gender my religion my caste and uh, my country and uh, you don't know which color i like or what you don't know any information about me all you know that uh, my name is we called a 0. xyz 5678 something like one web3 wallet address you know only that in such case actually you cannot uh, treat me you can if you know that 100 people like that addresses you can you can treat them everyone equally in case if you know that uh, okay this person is uh, uh, this person is invented bitcoin and uh, let us say he passed away like he passed away in uh, in a couple of years i mean if he, if you passed away automatically the interest on the founding company and all it will be uh, it will be gone so the next time who will continue it and all it is all dilemma will start and you like if you know that this person is from japan so people more interested that uh, Jap- uh, they thought that uh, japanese are uh, very good at uh, this and that actually like uh, 
the partiality will increase. So here, uh, here uh, the funder here, they don't want to. He don't want to. He or she or they don't want to show their identity. Anonymously, they are there. The reason for this, actually, that's how the uh, blockchain is invented to treat them everyone equal. So there is no inflation will be there, and there is no particular partiality on this. So that's how that's the one of the theory. And uh, coming to the last part of this uh, two days. So before I am explaining that how to create your own cryptocurrency, I should tell you that uh, what is Web3 wallet. So every one of you know that uh, there will be. If you go back to 45 years back, maybe I don't know how many are born here. Maybe 20 years back, uh, Netscape, uh, Netscape, and other browsers will be there. Like it's a web web one, web 1.0. Only thing is that uh, I don't know how many of you guys use the Yahoo Messenger. Maybe uh, yeah, Yahoo Messenger and uh, Yahoo News and all. By the time it's a read only, like uh, someone will put the news, you can read. You don't need to. You, you cannot interact with them. That's a web one wallet. That's sorry. That's a web, web one point oh. One point oh. It's simply like read whatever the news they are publishing. Uh, we have to read. That's it. Nothing else will be there. And two point oh. You could say two thousand eight to started, where uh, Facebook and uh, other discussion forums, all these people are. You can read and write. You can uh, communicate with them, but you cannot own the content. Like uh, you can write the content, you can read the content. If you write the content, end of the day, the display advertisement will go to the money, will go to the Facebook pocket, and you will get a very less amount of money in YouTube and all this. I mean, that's how the Web two work actually. Coming to Web three, it is uh, something like in a simple words saying that uh, you can own the content also. That means if you write something, if you post something in a YouTube kind of a decentralized YouTube, for example, in, with the Web three wallet. In such case, you have uh, meantime you can. Uh, it is something like uh, you have a stock. Okay, you have a Facebook stock with you, and you can read the Facebook content. You can write the content. Something like you have the ownership on this particular organization. That's how the Web3 wallet works. Like uh, you can, if you want to, yeah, if you post something about, if you contribute something to this particular organization or anything, Facebook won't pay you anything. But in the Web3 wallet, uh, there is a possibility that uh, they can make you the make you the part of the owner of that particular uh, uh, website or particular content, and they might give you the returns to you. So that's how the Web3 opens. Web3 wallet works. So yeah, this is like uh, this is uh, what about uh, this is a very core level, uh, core, very uh, basics of uh, blockchain. So now I can show you that uh, how we can uh, create a one uh, simple cryptocurrency on this. So we can see that actually. So, so far, any doubts or anything? Kindly raise your hands, and we'll discuss on this. So, Pranav Chetan raised his hand. Uh, could you just? Hi sir, good evening. This is Chetanya. Yeah, hi Chetanya. How are you? Yeah, sir, good. Sir, may I know what is the difference between traditional database and uh, blockchain, sir? Both are used to save data. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah see, that's a major a... difference. Between... See, that's actually. The difference between here, uh, you have to find out, you have to think about, two, you have to tell about two things over here. One thing is that uh, coming to the data and the way the data we are storing, the way we are uh, we are storing the data and the data. Uh, if you say username and uh, user, if you type the username, email sign up form, you type that mobile number and the email, that data. They are encrypted. The data they are storing in the database. Let us assume like that. They are encrypted with uh, some AES uh, 128 protocol. Some protocol they encrypted. They are storing the data. So when 
okay i hope you you have a basic programming thing right so yeah what is that hello hello thank you sir. yes okay sir thank you yeah no, no i didn't answer it actually wait a second actually so yeah so i didn't answer you correctly yeah let me answer it clearly see there's one thing over here uh, the way we are storing the data is only the difference as simple as that the traditional data will have a very simple mechanism that uh, all your data is storing in the central server so whatever you are operating in amazon whatever the videos you are watching in amazon today so that data is stored in the amazon servers yes or no yes right so that data is in a one particular central server so anyone wants to anyone hack that particular central server obviously the data will be gone and uh, your privacy is gone like uh, tomorrow your friend will know that what you have got tested tonight so in a distributed in a distributed ledgers and uh, blockchain data that data is completely encrypted which no one can hack that hack that and that that is the same information stored in hundred thousands of computers so where one server is hacked another uh, rest of the servers will come there rest of the nodes will come uh, nodes will take that and uh, it will uh, bind it actually so that's how this is very secure yeah yeah anything else no sir thank you yeah so yeah see uh, you guys can ask me that i'm totally okay with it so like uh, okay like uh, if it something if no one is asking me is that means either uh, either i'm talking something which is unknown or else uh, you guys are not listening actually so i don't know that yeah you know, take it easy on this actually the subject uh, is mostly about uh, learning on the by your by your own and all so you can free yourself and you can ask me anything on that uh, it's totally fine with me. yeah question in the chat box sorry there's a question in the chat box saying uh... Sir, will crypto tax affect blockchain technology in India? Because to host a website on Ethereum blockchain, we need to purchase Ethereum. This is the question from Hemant. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good actually. So, because to host a website on Ethereum blockchain, we need to purchase Ethereum. Uh, actually, technically, yes, you should have uh, you should have Ethereum. When you are registering any cryptocurrency, you should have it. Uh, you should have you should pay the gas fees. Something like. Uh, if you want to travel from uh, one place to another place, just like you're paying the uh, gas fuel, fuel price, like that, you have to pay that, uh, whoever storing the data will pay the gas fees. Yes, you must do that. Yeah, that's the right question actually, yeah. So we must do that. So anyone else saying that, uh, shall I start with the Chrome? Like, is it okay? Shall I start with the Chrome? Uh, I mean, shall I start with the own cryptocurrency creation? Yes, sir, you can. So you, uh, okay, sorry, someone is asked actually. Yep. So all of you, I mean, now, uh, how do you guys follow? Like, uh, will you, will you follow me? Like, how does it work? So first of all, uh, everyone open the Chrome, please. Everyone. So any doubts or anything, kindly use the chat box. And uh, just completely uh, open the Chrome first and type uh, MetaMask Chrome extension. Yeah. Okay. Can you see this? And kindly install the MetaMask, please. Okay. Let me remove it for you guys first. I'm adding it again. One second, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the same thing for everyone? Uh, yeah. Can you see that? Hello. Okay. Yes, sir, uh, we can see that, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Actually, be, uh, please be energetic. I'm totally okay. Otherwise, I mean, uh, my energy will be gone, actually. So, be okay. Like, you guys are all students, actually. Come on. Like, uh, you guys have lots of energy. Like, I don't think so. You guys will see the calm in the class. I don't, I never be in my engineering. So, so please, be, please be free and uh, talk more. That's all that you guys learn the subject. So, it is not that uh, keep quiet. Please. Yeah. Please don't disappoint me. Yeah. Okay. Let's say I'm starting the MetaMask. I don't know that uh, this is the first wallet. Uh, let's get a setup. So create a wallet here. And uh, just I agree. And just put your password for yourself. Remember for the extension. Don't tell to anyone. Don't trust your friends anymore. So the Web3. So don't write it anything on that. And once you type it. So you will get a secret phase here. So if you click it here, you can see that uh, this is a secret first. Okay. Right now you guys will see me. It's okay for me. So this is my secret phase. Load become voice copper and all. So kindly use uh, your book and write uh, whatever the words are there and keep that paper with you all the time. All the time means all. Uh, Put it in a secret place, uh, put it in that because that's very important. So, whatever is there, just write on the paper, please. Yeah, by the way, you guys can use a pencil also. No problem with me. So, yeah, concert and spirit and all. Okay, I have written. So, now the next phase, uh, I have to put it whatever, uh, whatever uh, in the pattern, the same pattern to verify it. Load become voice copper will flow concert and hold okay so now uh, now actually i created uh, my metamask wallet so done. I got my address also. So every one of you. So everyone got it. Yes, sir. Everyone created MetaMask. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's nice. So now actually we are creating a one of our own cryptocurrency. For that actually, as he said that uh, we don't have a Ethereum and all. Uh, we cannot uh, we cannot offer that. Uh, I don't know how many students are here. If you thought uh, there's 100 students, if each each has a $5 or $10 for the gas fees, it's around $1,000. Unfortunately, we cannot afford that, right? So that's not, uh, what is that, economical. So for this testing, actually, that's what that's why we do that. We use a test nurse, actually. Test nurse is completely free. So you don't need to put any money for it. So kindly add the test net now. So whatever the screens you guys are seeing here, uh, you go to... On the accounts page in the main, Ethereum mainnet, you could see it over here on the top. Click on that, please. And uh, you can see the ad network. Can you see that? Click the ad network, please. And here, next, actually, in Google, just put BNB testnet. BNB testnet MetaMask. BNB testnet MetaMask. Kindly add this, please. Kind of search for this, and uh, you guys can see that uh, this is all uh, too much data. Something like, uh, yeah, you could see the details over here. I'm just copying and. Uh, can you repeat it once, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, go to MetaMask, and uh, I think how do I how do I share share this message over here? Joe, <laughs> what? How to do that? Actually, oh, I, I guess it. Uh, it through the chart, I guess, sir. 
through the chat. You can copy yes, and paste that in the chat. Yeah, raise the chat. I'm asking actually, I have to see the chat. His right hand is here. I can raise my hand only. Uh, Anita, can I send it to you so you can paste it? Uh, one second, or else I will stop share and come over. Ah, okay, if I stop sharing, it is coming. So this is the link. Uh, can you open it, please? I typed in the chat. You guys got it? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, you, guys, you guys got the message, right? So kindly go to Ethereum mainnet on top, uh, click on here, please. And uh, you can create an ad network. If you click this button, ad network. So up to this is clear. And uh, I sent you the details also in that. So testnet details. Here, uh, the first thing is that uh, the network name is uh, testnet. Let's put uh, DNB testnet and RPC is a remote procedure call. So it's something like a website call. So just paste it over here. And uh, chain ID is 97. Don't ask me why. Uh, symbol is uh, BNB. PC is 97 at which it is a different. And block check explorer is TDP test gun. Okay, you guys are ready with this? Did you add this all? Hello, hello, hello. So I'm saving it. Yeah. Now actually I have the BNB testnet, if you can see it. BNB testnet added successfully. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm disconnected over, I don't know. Hello? So you're yeah, is it audible? Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, I think at least one of you should unmute it and talk to me. I feel lonely here, actually. Yeah, please. So, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, so, I added over here, account one and uh, this uh, this thing. If you see it here, uh, this is your address here. Like, uh, you could see it, uh, whatever I said, the encryption and all. Right now, when you're creating uh, that wallet, Automatically in the back end, uh, your address is registered. You guys, you guys created a Web3 wallet. That means you have the public key with you. If anyone wants to send a money, they can use this key and they can send money to you. Yeah. So everyone got this MetaMask wallet right now, right? So they added the testnet and uh, you got this stuff. Right now it's ready. But as, uh, as he said it, uh, we don't have money over here, of course. Zero BNP. We can't do anything with it. Zero is nothing. So, zero is invented by Aryabhata from Indian. So, let's put some money over here. So, kindly type uh, faucet BNB. Faucet BNB. I'm sending this URL to you guys. So I, I, I share you that in the group. Okay, now actually go to your MetaMask. You spin it here. And in your MetaMask, uh, you can see your account one. If you click this one, you can see the copy and just paste here. So this is for testing amount. They will give you some Binance BNB to you guys for testing. 
it's i mean it's not the real world value just for testing only if you want to change it you won't work just for testing only so i typed my address over here i think some of you guys are typing over so it's already funded okay good Okay. Uh huh. I think uh, my last address is already have it. That's uh, okay. I got my BNB. So you guys get your BNB. I got it. I got my money. So I got it. I got the BNB. So you guys got it. So Hammond, where are you? Hello. Yes, sir. We got. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Actually, I thought I'm just complaining. Okay. That's good. So all you guys got BNB now. So all of you rich now. That's cool. So now let's create a contract. So in go to Google and type uh, Remix. Not that music Remix. It's a Ethereum platform for that. So type uh, Remix. Remix. Okay. So I, I send there here. So Remix, uh, you got the URL, all of you? This is the contracts. Go to contracts over here. So this is the open platform. Uh, I think uh, I'm just I'm requesting the organizer who is dealing with it. I think uh, at least a one person, whoever is uh, doing the same thing along with me, unmute it kindly, unmute it, and talk to me clearly. So that makes uh, that makes whole, whole scenario good. Actually, I cannot jump into the next, next, next like that. So it is the next five minutes. Uh, kindly, someone uh, unmute it and kindly talk. Yeah. So, okay, just here, uh, I already had some contract here. Just go to that, uh, you can see that this is a remix platform. It is completely whatever guys we are doing the code over here. It is storing in the blockchain. In generally, all of you will know about APAs generally, like application programming interfaces, like you call the URL, someone get post, all these methodologies will be there in a regular programming world. But coming to blockchain, it is all about ABI. Uh, ABI, arbitrary binary index. That is uh, whatever the data we guys are uh, creating over here, constructors, this all the data is stores in nodes in a different way, just like a torrent. If you upload the movie in the torrent, automatically your file information will be stored in the torrent index that is stored in the different, different systems. So this is a complete blockchain, what we are, seeing it right now on the on the screen so here go to contracts please and here uh, click new file for you just click the new file i hope you clicked it and now uh, i'm going to give you the code to you guys kindly uh, paste it clearly i'm going the i'm giving the talk uh, very clearly code to you guys So, uh, Anvita, I shared you in uh, your uh, Telegram. This is a very lengthy message. Uh, how can I share it to you guys? I shared you in your Telegram. So, like, uh, okay, let me, can I share the file over here? Yeah. So, I, I, shared, uh, I shared you in Anvita's Telegram. So can anyone copy there or how does it work? Okay, let me share the file directly to you. 
sir share it to me i'll put it in the group where all the students are present sir if it is not possible in the chat box here i'll put it in the group ah uh, okay but this is a very lengthy message right you you want me to send me as a file yes sir you send it to me i'll put it in the group directly it's good in the chat it may not be possible anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. i know that yeah okay Okay, but that is a file actually. Uh, just open it as a file and copy paste purpose only because it is stored in uh, RTF format for me. But it is technically uh, just copy it. It's 8.2 MB, 8.2 KB file. So I share it to you. So <laughs> this is the file I shared. Okay, everyone copied it. Today, today I'm not going to tell you that uh, what are the constructors and what is the values over here and all, because it is too much, uh, too much for today. So in the tomorrow's workshop, I'll explain that uh, what is that uh, variables and constructor, how does it work, and how you how really we are going to sell it and all. I mean how the liquidity pools and works and all. That is very interesting stuff. Today up to creation we will do it and we'll do some transactions. That's it. Uh, that after that we will close this meeting. So Hello, I hope sir. everyone have this. Yeah, please yeah. Sir, can you please start from starting, sir? Uh, like uh, mind map. So I lost uh, some steps, so I missed everything. So from starting okay. to MetaMask, how to, uh, what you have shared the information, uh, so you can start again, so very fast, so I can connect. No problem. So you you created MetaMask already, so you want to start from there. Sir, actually I, I have went to, into the settings and I tried to change what you have sent in message box. So uh, can you say I, can I mean, you, you created MetaMask already? You didn't create it. Yeah, yes, sir. I have already. Okay, you have MetaMask. You you have BNB also yes, now. Sir. You added the testnet. No, no, sir. You the, added the, the I also. have to add, uh, sir. Okay. okay, you can uh, share your screen. In such case, actually, I can see that and tell you. Okay, sir. I will try to do. Yeah, please. Are uh, you sharing it? Screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, actually, uh, viewing... I have this. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's cool, actually. New RPC URL, uh, I shared you in the chat already. So just copy it. So actually, I re in, the, in my new la uh, laptop, sir. So, uh, firstly, I was watching on phone, so I can't see your screen. So I re in in laptop, so I lost the chat. I sent already. You got it? Yes, sir. Have to copy and paste the same as it is so I can create yeah, a yeah, wallet. Yeah. Just no problem, just do it. I'll be long and yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, the purpose of this meeting uh, is to learn actually. So it's 100%. Yes, sir. I have no issues. Yeah. It's RPC URL, yeah. Ninety seven. What is selling? As the sub sounds is selling, selling sounds actually. Ninety seven. End symbol is BNB. Uh, testnet is testnet or BSC scan, but that's not mandatory actually. But it's fine if you want to. Add.
Cool. Save. Okay. Now go to that uh, faucet. Faucet, please. The above here. You, you don't have that also? Okay. Let me share it to you again. Okay. You got it. Sir? I sent you again. I sent you one URL to you. Just take it out, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. Here, uh, just paste it. Paste your MetaMask address. Just go to that extension. Click on that extension on the top. Not there, not there. Yeah, yeah. Copy, copy, sure. copy the address. Yes. Give me BMD. Yeah, they have to give me. I can't give you anything over here. Yeah. Oh, so just yeah. I'm reading the text. Yeah, yeah. I'm reading the text. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. You, you added already? Yeah. Yes, sir. Give me BMD. Okay, just check it out your wallet, please. I'll, I'll refresh. No, no, no need to refresh. Actually, uh, blockchain has no refresh. Okay. It's note to note connection. There's no refresh functionality. It's not server. Server, the cloud needed a refresh. Yeah, click BNB. Yeah, okay. now we will get it. Yeah, yeah. Accepted. Now wait, wait, wait. So copy your address and send this group, please. In chat. So yes, sir. Yeah, I got one BNB. Copy. Okay, cool. Hello. So right now you are on the same. Yeah, you are on the same page right now, right? Okay. Let yes. me do it from uh, your and uh, your system. Let's do it from your system actually. That's better for you. That's better for everyone yes. actually. Instead of my system. So open. Uh, your Linux, system please. is Mac. Sir. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you, you just open Remix. Okay, sir. Remix. The last, uh, last tab. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. So okay. Just go to contracts on the contracts you can see the contracts please contracts yes sir yes, yeah sir. Above, I have above. some files yeah, yeah. Right -click, storage right -click. owner yes right click exactly yes, that's their files actually yeah click right click new file yes sir and uh, may I know your name please Krishna Amshi sir yeah, just put your name wow that's a very good name so great my son name is Krishna actually. Krishna dot no 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 don't put don't put wait wait wait. Krishna dot S O L actually. Krishna dot S O L type Krishna dot S O L. That's your token. We are creating Krishna token. Yeah. Dot S O L. Okay. Perfect. Enter. Okay. Yeah, done done. Enter. Yeah. So yeah. now uh, whatever the Anita yeah. shared that file. Do you have that file? No, sir. I have to connect the WhatsApp group so I can copy the text. Okay, please. Or else you just send me your email ID if you open them. I will connect, sir. With, I will stop screen share and I will do it and I will reconnect it, sir. Okay, actually, it is more productive if you, if you do it in your system. So yes, that sir. will be good, actually. So, like, uh, okay, it will be clear for I everyone. Will show, uh, I will show so, you. I am linking my WhatsApp, sir. Yeah, I hope I. I hope everyone everyone can see your screen, right? Nothing uh, nothing wrong in that, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, wait, uh, okay. You need to show your WhatsApp and all. It's fine. You can stop the sharing. It's fine. I will say send you the email. Yeah. Wait a second. Just send me your email. I will send you the email. Type your email over there in the group. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Krishna Mamsi. Hello. Uh, I have linked my WhatsApp, sir. So I just stopped the okay, screen you can, sharing. You can, yeah, yeah, you can hide. I it think it's you very easy. Yeah, you just copy it, then again it will just share yes, back, sir. actually. Okay, sir. Yeah. It came in what document? Yeah, see, this, this meeting is about doing by you, doing by you is actually not by me. Yes, I know it. Okay, actually. I mean, I did the show. Yeah, that's right. Let me know once you press. Okay. Sir. I'm scaring, I'm sharing my screen. So this uh, I want to share, sir, uh, and to copy and paste in the folder. Uh, yeah, completely copy it, please. Completely. Control A. 
and go to that uh, Krishna dot as well. Paste it. Perfect. You're perfect. Yes. Everyone did it. Uh, same thing, please. Okay, that's good. Now, actually, uh, you know, I forgot the line name. Go to two twenty eight. Line number two twenty eight. Yeah, you can keep that anyway. Two twenty eight. Two two eight. So tomorrow I'll explain that what is this functional is and about. Today I'll just yeah two 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 thirty line. You can see Sanju token is there, right? There is a name called Sanju token. Yes, and change. Just uh, replace with Krishna. Yeah, Krishna token. Done. So you yes. create, you almost created the contract now. Okay. Yes. So now actually uh, in the left uh, left you can see that uh, compiler uh, the second second tab. Click on the second tab. Yeah. Sec I don't know. In the, go to the extreme end. There is a two. Uh, one guy putting like headphones is there and four icons are there, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Click that one. Yes. Yeah. Compiler. Yeah. yeah. Click that file one. File explorer and I have uh, compiler. I have yeah. to click compiler. Yeah, solidity, solidity compiler. Click on that, please, and uh, click the compiler. Just I want to click, click, the click compiler. on the compiler. Compiler. Is, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Zero point eight point seven is there, right? At top. Yes, sir. Go top. Click that one, and now uh, in your contract, if you guys see that uh, the version is zero point four point two four, if you guys see that, and the uh, first zero starting uh, in your program. 4.24. Go down, down, down. The compiler version is 0.4.24. Go down, down. Yeah. So yeah. Two right. four. Perfect. Perfect. Two four. Two four. Yes. Two four. And uh, now compile Krishna dot as well. Click it. Compile. Compile Krishna dot as well. Compile. Yes. Click it. Yes. Sir. Wait. 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 It's compiled now. Go to the go to the third uh, third tab over there. Like uh, it, uh, after the compiler, you can see the third tab. Run yeah, yeah, that's one. Deploy run it. Exactly. Perfect. Click that, please. On the top, yes, JavaScript VM. JavaScript VM. Click. Uh, uh, click it. It's an injected Web3. Go to injected yes, Web3. Yes. Perfect. And uh, now sign in, please, because this is your signature officially. So you are signing. Yes, sir. Connect. So now you are connected officially. So this contract belongs to you. Okay. So you are the owner of this program. So now uh, go to the contract. Uh, ERC20 is there. ERC20 contracts yes, are Krishna and SOL. You can see them. Yeah. Click, click. Go to the last, please. Krishna token. Because there are so many constructors over there. Last one is your name. Yes, yes, perfect. Sir. Click that one. And deploy. now, uh, after deploy, yeah, wait, wait, don't do that. Don't click any deploy as uh, till I say that. So you can see drop down over there. Deploy. Deploy after that string underscore name and string underscore symbol is there, right? Yes. You can, after that, there is a drop down is there. You see it. Yes, yes, click that, please. It address. Click it, click it. No, no, brother. Actually, just go to oh, the okay. same tab. You can see something over there. No, no. Go to the yeah, string name from. Yeah, yeah. Next, next. Deploy. In the deploy, you can see that. Uh, what drop okay. down? Okay. Yeah, click. Drop down menu. Okay. Yes, yeah. exactly. Type your type your token name. The name of the token. Krishna. Symbol Krishna. No, no, no. Ah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You can type it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Krishna. Sir. And uh, decimals is, uh, uh, let's put 18. 18 decimals. Tomorrow you guys will know that what is this all. Uh, 18. And uh, how many tokens you want to release? Let us say you want Thousand. to release 10,000 tokens or 1 billion tokens. Okay. 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 Yeah, why, why, why can't you put it to one lakh? That's why totally, yeah, just put it, yeah, that's oh, okay. why, yeah. So, token owner address is that's your address. So, your address means uh, not Punjabi and all, just copy the Web3 wallet, please. 
Yeah, your wallet address. Yeah, now click on that address. Yes, yes, copy and paste it there in remix. Yeah, paste. Yes, sir. Transact. Transact. Yes, perfect. Yeah, transact. Yeah. Now you are paying money to them. So go down. So this is the gas fees you are paying. Yeah, go to Metamask. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is your gas fees and all. Confirm it, please. So go to your MetaMask ones uh, in the extension only. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, you can in Remix also you can see that. Go to Remix only. Okay. So, uh, actually, I can see in the uh, downside wait. some text. It's done. It's done. It's done. You, create, you, create, you created your token now. So click on okay. debug. After that, there is a drop down. Click on that, please. Okay. No, 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 no. Here in the in the below, there is a block uh, TX and contract from and uh, value zero Y data. Below, brother. Below, below, below. After search, you can see that uh, debug is over there. So you can see. No, 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 not there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can control the screen, right? Bottom right, bottom right. You have debug, no? There you have an arrow. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Bottom, bottom uh, right. You can extreme right. You can see the debug. Yeah, yeah. Click there, drop down. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Click drop down, please. There, click drop down. Sir, you can see the drop down after the. Okay, okay, sir. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, can you increase that? I can. Uh, yeah. So there is a contract address will be there. So there you can see your contract address. That's what I want to show you. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, so that's smart. Yeah. Address token owner and all uh, input and all. Okay, from and to and gas fee. This is a transaction hash and go down, 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 down. Yeah, down. Nothing down. Yeah, down. Yeah, down, 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 down. That's all. So you do one thing uh, on the screen. Uh, so open your MetaMask ones. MetaMask. Yes, sir. Okay. So activity, go to activity. Contract. So. Click on that. That's anything. Okay. Now actually view on block explorer at the at the end, at the starting status. After that, view on block explorer. Click that, please. So this is your transaction has been done and interacted with uh, one token address is there. If you see that uh, the CD and all, that's uh, copied. Contract CD. So this one, sir. Token uh, transfer. No, 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 up, up. Uh, after that, interacted with uh, created. You can see the 2D. Zero point. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Click that one. Click, 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 I need to copy, click sir. Yes, copy it. And uh, go to your MetaMask. See, you don't need to see. Click on that extension. Extension bar. Close it. Close it. Yes. Yeah. Click on that. And uh, after that, there is a pin. Wait, brother. Pin, pin, pin. Click the pin, please. So it's easy for you. You don't need to go. Yeah. Uh, after that, there, uh, perfect. If you click that one, so go to assets. Now, actually, technically, you created your Krishna coin token. You created it already. It is done. So yes, go sir. to assets and import. Tokens. Go to import tokens. Import. So paste it, please. Yeah. Yes, you can see your name. Whatever the name you created. Add custom and token. This man. Token this man. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, this was U18. You put it over there, right? So the same is passed. Import. So yes. you're done. You created actually. You have a hundred thousand now. Let's say yes, uh, anyone of anyone else who created the uh, wallet address, kindly pay. Okay. Now actually, I want some tokens from you. I want some money from you. So I'm giving my address uh, in the group in Geo chat. You can see that my address there. I type it.
copy it and uh, and go to your metamask and go to your assets no it's there or you can see it assets yeah assets yeah so click on krishna click on krishna and send type my address paste it and send me some uh, triple line yeah send so next click next send confirm it so that is a gas fees for sending the money to me go down okay sir confirm confirm so whatever your krishna token uh, contract address if i don't have it i can't see it so kindly place your krishna token address over here in the group now uh, you stop screen i will share it sir uh, where i want to share the okay your uh, token contract address you copied from bnb right you know uh, uh, as a token address in the binance token uh, address. yes yes okay in the binance transactions yeah no yeah yeah here actually yeah that address you just copy you just may copy it and keep it with you actually okay now actually okay. you uh, you created a coin so you created a token so now uh, okay you can stop screen actually i can just share it so okay sir. okay paste it already token address yes sir yes sir i have pasted in the geo chat yeah okay sorry are you already now okay that's good so now actually now i am doing it so import tokens the same address or different okay krishna is done right you guys can see my screen now yeah krishna yes, you are seeing it right yes sir okay perfect so okay now you send me triple nine i got it yes sir yeah you received so like like this actually if something uh, if you want to purchase this phone so i can send it to you and you can send me the krishna token i can give you this phone to you just like a money so whatever uh, transactions happening uh, in between you and me simply i can copy my address i'll go to a website called uh, testnet bsc if i click this one so whatever transactions happening in between uh, whatever is there i can see it here very clearly like all my addresses uh, all the transactions uh, whatever is there we can see it over here and uh, similarly if i type uh, okay now you have your address right one second now i want to see that uh, what is the transaction that, uh, did by this uh, particular uh, krishna token so it is open something like uh, it's a public blockchain so it's open for everyone anyone in the world can see it happy what you what we are doing here so 7 minutes back uh, you created this and after this 2 uh, minutes back you transfer this money to me so if i click this one transaction hash happy i will know that uh, how much money you sent how much bnb you sent all this yeah you sent krishna token can you see that people nine yes sir to me so this transaction is open for everyone in the world so if they know your token address you cannot hide it so and meantime you don't know who you don't my name you don't know my name and your name so it is very secure so that's how the basic blockchain is works and token works so yeah so this is a brief of uh, today's workshop i have another call actually within next 15 or 20 minutes so so tomorrow's workshop uh, what i'm going to do i'll clearly tell that how this uh, trading happens how the liquidate pool happens how you can sell your tokens how you can purchase things with the crypto this kind of a economy kind of a stuff i am going to tell you guys so you guys will understand like uh, more knowledge about that so if possible today just explore in youtube and somewhere whatever the knowledge we have shared there compile it and uh, share it in between you guys and uh, just try to get more knowledge and more on this tomorrow we can uh, see the next what uh, next uh, how we can uh, create a real time value for this actually yeah we'll continue with the same krishna token or krishna coin on krishna token only so make sure that you copy that all the contract and all the copy and all and you should have that addresses and all yeah 
make sure of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. So, yeah, please, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can you please share the Hello? recording of this session in our group? We'll take care. We'll take it, Pranav. Don't. Uh, that, that is not in my hands, brother. Actually, I my think... net. Yeah. Actually, yeah. my network connection was poor. So, if you share this in our groups, it will be helpful for yeah, me again. Yes, yes Pranav will do that. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Thank I think Anita is Anita, Anita has it. I think so. So you, yeah. So today, same time, right? So we can uh, meet earlier. That will be good, actually, in case, if possible. So you guys see that, uh, how does it work? And tomorrow we'll see it for this and uh, we'll see that uh, how the one token will be transferred to the another, another token will try swapping. That's very interesting stuff, actually. Frankly speaking, yeah. So you guys will live it there. Let's see, yeah. So that's it from my end. Yeah, I'm signing off. So, okay, next, yeah. Yeah, over to Anvita and now Yeah. Arshini, take it, please. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Firstly, I thank DWIS uh, coordinator, Ms. Padmavati, ma'am, and our faculty coordinator, Vinyasri, ma'am. And thank you so much to the speaker, Mr. Sanju, sir. This is a really an interesting session. So not only from our CSE department, rather also from many departments, students have joined from our institution. So it's really an interesting session, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, thank you all. And uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you all. Yes. Have a nice day. Good night. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Students, you can leave the session feedback link will be provided in the group itself.